DDT's bullet train match in Japan. Did you watch the videos? Three minutes of the highlights. I did watch it. Your your opinion? What's the purpose of it, really? They got on the bullet train. I wonder what kind of permit they had to get to get that. And who were these passengers? I believe, I'm I believe sure. there were audience members who paid like big money yeah. to actually be in the carriage. I, I'm sure they're... They're wrestling fans because you're not going to take regular people and put them in, in a in a car like that, the big train, and that they not knowing what's going on. You know, they were fans. It was different, is all I can say. But I wasn't really, I wasn't blown away by it. But it it, it was different. It went forty minutes apparently. What was it? Forty minutes to to do that. Yeah, the match was 40 minutes long on that carriage, yeah. I don't get it. So they cut it down to a three-minute highlight reel. Basically, yeah. Where, where can people see this? I found it on YouTube. Uh, I think it's Minoru Suzuki. I, I didn't even write down who was in it. Uh, DDT, Bullet, uh, DDT's the promotion, uh, famous for, you know, Kenny Omega wrestling a little girl and stuff like that. They, they put on all sorts of weird stuff, DDT. Uh, with with the actual match quality itself, what I watched was it almost seemed like one giant parody skit of wrestling rather than like an intense matchup because like one of them slapped another one and the other one went ah and they like were really overacting. Well, <clears throat> the only thing they couldn't do anything. They're walking up and down an aisle on a train carriage. You know, they probably had forty people on there. Can't do much. Uh, maybe had a little more. I don't know. But you know, I've been on. I've been on the bullet. Have you really? Oh yeah, years and years ago, and it wasn't really that old when I when I was on it. So I, I went to Japan, and on that Japan trip, I flew over. So I, I was on a plane. I took a boat to another island, so I had the boat. Then I got on the bullet. And there was something else I did. Oh, I took a bus. Oh, I don't know. It was that's between them beating the shit out of me because I went over with this shoot group. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they beat the hell out of me. And I didn't know it was a semi shoot group. I just thought they couldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to watch that. So, We're going to watch that match in a later episode. We're going to see that wheel kick that. Um... Oh, yeah. Knock me out. Maeda, Akira Maeda, I think is oh, my the actual one. Uh, he, he, he racked me. Uh, very quickly, very quickly. What's the weirdest place you've ever seen a wrestling match take place? You've done it in prisons. You've done it in orchestras. You've you've wrestled weird places. Uh, I've got to guess what you th what I think you're going to say though. I'm going to say, and I don't even know the name for this. It's the Monster Truck Show. I wrestled there one time. So I went out there between the races or the jumps or whatever they do. And they said this, I says, how long do you want me to go? They said, go to, we tell you to get out. Okay. So I go out there and me and Robert Fuller, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we circle around one time and didn't even lock up. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and I got out, and it was the only match <clears throat> I've ever had, <clears throat> excuse me, that I never touched my opponent. They said, go to, from the bell to bell. I said, okay. The match lasted about 45 seconds. <laughs> and somebody said, is that it? I said, that's it, folks. You know, like, that's it, folks. Like the cartoons, and I left. So... <laughs> I know you probably and, don't know the Simpsons. Oh, I, I did. I did wrestle on the back of an eighteen-wheeler flatbed truck going around a racetrack. That was with Boo, wasn't it? Boo Bradley. Was it no, Paul Mooney or someone else? No, Tony Anthony, Dirty White Boy. That was it. That's what I did. And oh, I've had, I've had some more too. I, I just can't really remember. I wrestled in a, a, a service. We call them service stations in the U.S. It's a gas place. You pull up to get gas. And they had like a little where you could change the oil. They put it in there over the oil pit. And they put about 30 people in there. And we wrestled there. 
And the prison was weird. So you, crazy. Did, you did oil wrestling, essentially, is what you're trying to tell me. Well, could have done. I, 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 well, we could have, but we, <laughs> we, we didn't. And I, oh, I've wrestled. I'm, I'm trying to think for, I don't know. I wrestled on a, uh, listen, you, a barge mm. in <laughs> Miami, Florida. They had some deal going on. We couldn't get the building. So they went down to a barge area and they rented a barge. I think it was a tax deal. If they got on a barge, <laughs> they didn't have to pay taxes to the city. And all the people went onto the barge and, and we wrestled. I remember, I think I wrestled Steve Kern on a barge. And I, I think he threw me off into the water. And, and that's it. That that was really really a a weird experience. 